we're back. The shuttle is going to stay docked here until further notice. I'm not ready to part company yet. It sounds like you have a lot of traveling to do. So do I. I'm going with you. The Sith have taken a particular interest in you, and you could use an extra blaster. I've been meaning to leave Duxon to look for other Mandalorian clans anyway. The Sith aren't known for sharing power. If the Jedi Order is destroyed for good, it and then my people would be eradicated or enslaved. Mandalorians helped Exar Kun during his war. We know first, but that's enough for now. We'll have time to talk later. The Ebon Hawk is patched up and ready to go. When you're ready to depart, we can ask the guide here to take us back to the ship. Yes, is something wrong? Very well. I imagine in your... Very well. I am on... I do not think it... Regardless. No. It is not... I fear then again. It is difficult sometimes... But the reason the Jedi Civil War was named to them... They are both... Not always. Jedi often fall. Uleg Keldroma and Exar Kun. It is perhaps more. It is also proved that. Yes, it's some. Very well. I imagine. I don't think you'll be able to return to even a Jedi.
I hear you handled Isis adequately. Mandalore has left me in ch If there is any change... There was a pattern to Revan's attacks during the Jedi Civil War. He sought to convert Jedi, not kill them. But that is not all. In fact, he fought to keep the infrastructure intact, killed certain political leaders that would lead to destabilization. First Patriarch Lelin Dor of Sirocco, the Corellian diplomat Mimis Yoon, and Yasunas of Achani. No, you're correct. The pattern ends with Malak. At that point, worlds die indiscriminately, or seem to. Taris, Dantooine, all become targets during this time. I think he was trying to unify the galaxy against some other threat. I do not know, and that concerns me. Yes, have very well. She did nothing to your. She has forced close. Feel this. Sh the welding of the droid as it goes about its work. Shh. Now stretch out. Hear the rumble of hyperspace. The hum of the hyperdrive. Ignore distractions and focus on my voice. The breathing of the blinded one as she meditates in the dark. Now, listen deeper past her breathing and listen. As my feet walk from the ashes of Qatar, I shall not fear. For in fear lies death and... You are strong indeed. What you heard were surface thoughts only, but it is something that masters have trained for for years and never learned. That is not the real question you should ask. Is such listening enough to perceive the world around you? It is not. Because to listen to the thoughts of another is much like attempting to see the universe only with your eyes. It is equally limiting. Now leave me be. I must rest. Yes, have... Very well. When I spoke of sight before, there is a similar handicap that tends to occur among those strong in the Force. The greatest wielders of the Force are those that maintain some grounding to the more... Some wielders of the Force have mastered piloting, others the ability to fix and repair and build, from simple moisture vaporators to more complex machines such as droids and vehicles. One's ability to understand the human body and its ailments, for example, can make your... And others have mastered the more subtle work of politics, persuasion. Do not doubt that a gap when such skills are honed. One's... My warning to you is this. Do not rely on your... Comp what skill would you... And what skill would you say is your greatest weakness? Then my task before you is this. Take your greatest... 
as you learn and train when you devote some of that training. Ask. That crystal is bonded to you. Through you, it acquires its... Most interesting. Your crystal does not perfectly reflect... Is there something else you... Have you never asked yourself how Revan took the Republic and Jedi beneath... Ah, but to make officers turn on their own people. To bomb... And where did these Sith teachings come from? And why did Revan... Imp oh, did they? No. Revan met no Sith Empire. Many have mistaken the soldiers beneath Revan. The machine... They are wrong. The Sith is a belief. And what Revan formed was not an empire, but something else. And I suspect the answer to that question is tied to another. How was Revan... Not a one. But we shall see where our journey... crystal is bonded to you. Let me focus on the crystal. There. Now it is. Is there something else you would? He, if he can truly be called a man any longer, he spared the mirror Luca, and that may have keep his slave close to you. I suspect. One cannot have power. I had hoped that you would not have to confront him, but her. You must be prepared to sacrifice. Then you have a chance. It is a technique that is almost as old as the Sith themselves. It cannot be taught. Yes, and he fed upon it. Power? You would be wrong. There is no str And it devours him. Nothing is impossible with... And like energy, do not think of his... The sect of assassins. And that is why they... As much as one may use the Force to bolster the wills and strengths of... Instead of sending one's will through connections in the Force, instead... Then you understand how terrible such a power... It is an empty road to the dark side. He is a breach in the Force. It is not something he can direct or focus. Force sensitives and... That is why where the Jedi gather, Jedi... And he cares nothing. And when the Jedi are dead, he will feed on the galaxy, the Republic. There is no future in the empty galaxy he sees.
I've got nothing more to say. Mandalore's helmet, lost after our defeat at Revan's hands. Assemble the rest of your clan. You will return to Duxon. We must come together as we were before and prepare to fight a new war. A war that will return us to glory. And if I take that helmet from you, guess that makes me the new Mandalore. I've always wanted to be called that. I know all about your exploits, Mandalore. We have fallen far in the past years, but even still, I will not stand idly while a usurper claims to be my leader. It is unfortunate that you feel that way. Perhaps I'll be able to change your mind. Stay out of this. This is my fight. <laughs> desire to spill any more Mandalorian blood today. Gather your clan and return to Duxon. You have seen the last of your mercenary days. Yes, Mandalore.
Something up? All right, but I'm... All right. Huh? What are you talking about? Oh, that. Don't tell anyone, but you wouldn't believe how many fights you can prevent by just pretending to know that stuff. I mean, it doesn't compare to wearing a lightsaber, but then again, that doesn't seem to help you much. Ah! Wha <sighs> you... You damn Jedi are all the same. Give you a little power and it rots you all the way to the core. Stay out of my head! I mean it! Yeah? So what? I don't ask any dumb questions about your past, despite the fact that it keeps throwing us into life-threatening situations. Wanna know why? I figure if you ever want to tell me something, you will. So give me the same respect, alright? Well, hey, thanks. But you've got the wrong guy. I'm good at shooting people, cracking wise, and pretending to know how to fight with my hands. Alright, what did you want to know? I wanted to make sure that we have some things clear. Right now, we both seek the same goals. Whatever our reasons may be, the Sith must be stopped. If they destroy the Jedi, the Republic will fall and my people will be eradicated or enslaved. To survive, I'll help you. But as Mandalore, I have another duty. The unification of the clans. After our defeat at Malachor, survivors spread it, but they cannot have fallen so far that they will not recognize a new Mandalore has been chosen. I'll fight beside you, but I'm warning you, don't get in my way. I'm not asking for help. I'm just asking you to let me do this. Cross... After the Sith are dealt with, you can turn your attention to us. Or maybe we can forge an alliance. Our next battle need not be considered what I... Now is there some... I am Mandalore, leader of the Mandalore, but I will not be your errand boy. Now is there some... I heard you were responsible for driving the settlers off this rock. Thanks. Now we can salvage all we like free of Kunda's wreck. I still got some Jedi junk. Oh, certainly. Take.
Is there? Must be hearing things, but for a moment.
Well, here we are, the Smuggler's Moon. It's the gaping maw of Nal Hutta, swallowing all the cargo and spaceport thugs the galaxy has to offer. Mandalorians, mercenaries, war veterans, and pilots from the Mandalorian Wars and the Jedi Civil War ended up on Nar Shadda, from all sides of the conflict. When the last war ended, there was no place left for them to go. Too many Mandalorians were scattered after the war, without purpose and without direction. Most became little more than raiders. Nar Shadda's a rough place and easy to get lost in. Or for someone to get lost. If we wanted to keep out of sight from the Sith for a while, you couldn't pick a better spot. It won't be easy. There's so much traffic on Nar Shadda. Finding anyone on the moon's surface is going to be hard. We're going to touch down in the refugee sector. There's a lot more traffic there, and it's harder for people to spot you coming in. Or find you once you arrive. Anyone flying the Star Lanes has docked on Nar Shadda at least once. I wouldn't want to live there, and I doubt anyone does by choice. Well, not everyone who came to Nar Shadda were soldiers. A lot of worlds were destroyed by the Mandalorian. I've plotted a course for the refugee sector, and we should touch down within the hour. Once we're down, we should finally be able to breathe easy. There's no way anyone's gonna find us here. She is not to be harmed. Observe her, track her, but do not eclipse her movements, or I shall eclipse yours. <coughs> you must, because one Jedi attracts others. It is the way of things. Honto no saka, jitkichu no kada miru ni to. Request, if Goto's vessel is no longer neutral ground, inform us so that we might initiate assassination protocols and commence firing at once. Kavadumpe Masuraku, Papa Yikichu no Kada Mirenito. Observation. Jedi follow the self. Doveri nincha, yonona shit wanatu mobile. Doveri nincha, yonona shit asa chuch. Ah, the beautiful stench and decay of desperate living. This moon, it teems with life. It is difficult to center oneself. Never have I been to a place so alive with the Force, yet so dead to it. The contrast is like a blade. Welcome to Nar Shadda. Towering buildings kilometers high and miles deep, with canyons so wide you could have a dogfight in them. Word of warning, watch where you step, or you'll fall for hours. Maybe a little, but landing here means we didn't have to transmit our ID signature. You know what trouble that always brings. In fact, while we're here, we should get those signatures changed. Wouldn't make us such a target when we enter a new system. All right, then, let's move out. Uh, where are we headed exactly? It does not matter where we go. 
If what we seek is here, we shall come upon it in due time. Uh, yeah, if you want to stay on the ship and meditate some more, don't let us stop you. Finding a Jedi, or anyone else, touched, but this moon does not get any smaller while we wait. This sec- Well, if we're gonna search a moon of a few billion inhabitants for one Jedi that even our own can't sense, might as well start as soon- Well, that means finding either a ba bounty hunters in the exchange or the bounty is a waste of our efforts. Forgive me, but these bounty hunters pose a threat to her. Their persistence is unusual, and if they're not stopped, I agree. They are nothing more than a distraction, but even a distraction may prove fatal at a critical moment. We must protect her. If you are so certain of your path, then do what you will. It's up to you. All right. If you have any questions, just ask. We should be able to leave the ship here as long as we want. You! You there! Uh-oh. What's with you? Letting that piece of junk sink its thrust into my landing pad! It'll be fine where it is! Yeah, I guess you're right. And by right, I mean you're wrong! Telling me it'll be fine where it is, what, you think? I got another ship coming in, and unless- Yeah? Well, this is the first I've heard of it. Huts don't do business down there. You call the shots, but this is good. No, look, you can't keep us trapped in- 
Thanks for your help. They would have crippled me for sure. If you save me to cripple me again, then you're worse than they are. Well, they work for the Exchange, for a Quarren named Visquis. He's looking to step up in the Exchange. The only language the Exchange respects is money, so Visquis is trying to increase his profits by using the refugees who are only good to him as slaves and merchandise. He wants to keep us... <laughs> you don't. He comes to you. If he's got reason to. Either because you can help... The Exchange has been clamping down on the refugee sector. Whatever your reasons... Spare a few credits. All right, maybe next time. I saw what you did to those exchange thugs, stranger. Can you spare a few credits, maybe help? Forgive me, stranger, please. I beg you, do not kill me. Gelerak tada cemense bengar uruk itu tu onde. Jadi wana jum konata telu ada. Tian, it's Bay Ador, 12th Engineering Division, out of Eodoria. I worked with you in the hangar bays on the Salamouth. Jadi wana jum konata telu ada guna tu na. Dari rintu rintu kau rekare papa nala rancinga. Terat, dari rintu rintu wakau rekue wap jere bu. Nenso telapacan kau saudara nane grau grau ada lono tak cholorin. Tian, we are already in trouble. In some ways, the war is not yet over. And our enemies seek us even now. Tere wana jun konata delo era guno antuna. Dai rinto runka ore kare papa nala ranchinga. Tere ache a wemeno toto ore re seni senta. Tere wana jun konata delo era guno antuna. Dai rin. Tere wana jun konata delo era guno antuna. Dai rinto runka ore. Dai rinto runto wa kare kwe wa kare bu. Nenso dosa negra.
Thank you.